For this video, I'm going to take a retrospective look at the 1997 Viper Mad Dash Across America. This is a very special retrospective episode for me. When I was growing up, Viper was one of my favorite TV shows of all time, but I realized not a lot of people are aware of it simply because uh, it currently isn't on any of the streaming platforms, whether you're talking Netflix or Hulu or any of them. Um, even Paramount Plus isn't airing it at the moment. I'm going to try to keep my commentary very short on this one. Uh, this was a presentation uh, at each of the locations for the Mad Dash, so I know the fans of this TV show are going to prefer to listen to the actual cast and creators of the show talk about it versus me. So I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what Viper and the Mad Dash were, and then we're going to jump into the actual presentation that was the Mad Dash. So Viper was a TV show that aired from 1994 through 1999. Uh, the first season aired on the NBC network, and the three remaining seasons aired in first-run syndication. When the show debuted in the 1996-97 season in first-run syndication, the producers of the show teamed up with Mothers Against Drunk Driving to tour the entire country. So the premise of the show was pretty straightforward. It was a one-hour police procedural in which uh, the crime-fighting team used a modified Dodge Viper to fight crime. It was a fun escapist show with lots of great car chases, and uh, I absolutely loved watching it, watched every episode. So the following video is footage I shot in early 1997 at the very first stop at the Viper Mad Dash that took place in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about it is Bob Benjamin, the producer of the show. Everybody, a warm welcome for Bob Benjamin. I always laugh. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to Target, and uh, happy to be here at Daytona Beach. And I want to talk a little bit about the car, one of my favorite subjects. A lot of people ask uh, about the Defender, which is the silver car here, versus the Viper. Uh, back in 1993, Danny Bilson and Paul DeMeo, the creators and executive producers of the show, came to Chrysler with some ideas about uh, a television show, and they wanted to incorporate some weapon systems into a Viper. And the goal was to try and make a car like the Viper that could transform into another car. And after a uh, contest amongst the design team at Chrysler, uh, headed up by Neil Walling, uh, a designer by the name of Steve Ferrario uh, designed the Defender. And in about three and a half months, we had a Defender. It started off first as a sketch, then went to a full-scale clay car where they pulled the molds off. The Defender actually sits on a Viper chassis. It has a V10 engine that's stretched. Uh, By 15 the chassis inches. stretched about 15 inches. And it's got new floor pans and tunnels. Uh, but basically, it is a Viper. And the goal was to somehow make that work uh, with a company called bb and j And bb and j handles all of our special effects. A lot of our effects are done by uh, computer. Uh, there's the probe, which you see flying over the rear hatch. That's a practical probe, and back uh, uh, when we first started, it actually had to have a guy with a, a pole fly it uh, on a piece of fishing wire. Well, since then, through uh, the advances in computers, uh, that, that, that is only used as reference, and the probe that you see in the television show actually is done with the computer, and it does all the flying that way. Uh, the, the car has uh, several different systems. Carl, you ready to go here? Uh, the first one is, is my favorite, especially being from Los Angeles. I really would wish I had this on my own car. It's the front battering ram. And uh, this is used to push cars around uh, uh, or to deflect uh, something that comes at you. Uh, the systems mostly work on hydraulics and air. Um, and uh, then the next system that we have would be uh, the door locks. The doors actually open by remote control. Um, and that could be operated both at the car and with a, uh, a remote control system operated by Carl Thompson, our picture car coordinator here. 
One of the other uh, features that I like is our, our uh, hologram projector. And the hologram comes up, and from there, after we have our practical hologram out, um, the computer graphics, they can, it can, uh, uh, it can have an image of another vehicle or, or another truck or anything it needs. It goes on the hologram and it projects it. After that, we have the side pods, and the side pods will hold a number of different weapons. We have, uh, it shoots out rockets. My favorite is the grappling hook, and the grappling hook is actually a real grappling hook. It's a piece of metal about uh, 18 inches long, and uh, it's shot out with explosives. So a special effects man actually shoots that out, and the grappling hook then goes practically into another vehicle or uh, whatever we're shooting at. Um, after that, it has a static pulse missile, and that's all that, that comes out that can knock the electrical systems of a car off. And we also have uh, the 50 caliber machine guns. And they're a little loud here, so you might want to uh, get small kids cover your ears. And basically what this is, it shoots out uh, the equivalent flame of an actual 50 caliber machine gun. Carl, can you give us a demonstration? Thank you, Carl. <laughs> that, I mean, so that gives us the flame. Obviously, that sound is taken out. And uh, in the post-production phase, they stick the sound of a 50 caliber machine gun in there. One of the things you may ask is, okay, so we shoot it on that end. Well, how do we shoot the guns on the other end? Well, they, they use these little plastic balls, and these things are filled with dust or with zirconium. The special effects guy loads them, and they shoot them with a paintball gun. And uh, whenever we, the, the, the defender is supposedly armor-plated, so when we shoot at the uh, defender, we shoot these little plastic balls at it, and it, it sparks or leaves little, little traces of dust. Um, the cars, uh, we have eight different versions of the defender. We have two beauty versions, and this is one of them, and basically that has all of the systems that work in it. And we have two special stunt defenders, and we've taken the V10 engine out of it, and we put in a V8 with line locks, we've changed the braking system, and they're strictly designed to do stunts, and professional stuntmen do all of our stunts, as well as our actors. We have uh, both Jeff Cake and Heather Medway are, are terrific drivers, and do quite a, quite a few of their own stunts. Um, we also have a four-wheel drive version that was built on the Dodge Dakota chassis, and that's always a favorite when the car morphs and it lifts up and the wheels pop out, and it's an actual four-wheel drive with four-wheel drive capabilities. And the newest car that we added this season was a, uh, a jump car. It's made on a tubular chassis and is capable of, we've done a 15-foot jump with it, and this goes off a jump ramp. The engine is slid back about two feet, uh, so the, the car does not nose down. I had one time worked on uh, the Dukes of Hazard uh, early in my career, and uh, they went through over 130 cars, because at that time they didn't have that, quite that technology. They would jump them, they would crash, and that would be the end of the car. We consistently jumped this Defender over and over again and uh, been quite successful. All of these cars have, uh, we carry two full-time paint and body guys and two full-time mechanics. Uh, and in the course of shooting 22 episodes, it is mechanical, just like your car, it needs some help. Uh, we have uh, uh, hand-cut uh, laser rear tires on the Defender. Uh, they're 235s, they're 17 inches, and you just can't buy those off the rack. They leave quite a tread pattern. Um, a, lot of, a lot of questions are on the car on, on, do we use these systems every week? Are they all practical? And the answer is yes. Almost every episode we have the Defender pulling some, some piece of its bag of tricks out, you know? Anybody have any questions about the car? Well, that's about it for me then. Thanks so much for coming and thanks for supporting Mothers Against Drunk Driving. So I think in just a few minutes we'll have the stars coming out. We'll have a presentation here, so please stick around. Well, the original, the, the original Defender cost uh, over a million and a half dollars in, in research and development. Um, the entire Chrysler team was behind it, and uh, there was quite a bit of uh, research and development into it. The, uh, the other cars have run somewhere around $150,000. Uh, all of the glass is hand done. It's made by Guardian Glass. The uh, headlights are neon headlights. Uh, just about every piece on the exterior of the car is custom made, so it's quite expensive. Yeah. What would it take to make that thing shoot? 
Well, it, the idea is it can't be street legal. It, do, it is a fiberglass body. It doesn't have legitimate headlights per se or tail lights. And believe me, trying to look behind you, it does not work so well. There's no view out the back. Uh, it does have, uh, on television, we have a, a remote camera in the back, so you can see behind you via a video camera, but it doesn't have any rear view mirrors. <laughs> Well, that's a good question. That's a good question. Well, actually, uh, NBC ran it uh, back in 1993, and we did a pilot in 11 episodes. And the studio and the fans continued to have great support in the show, and we were happy to bring it back. We have 22 episodes. We got four really great episodes coming up this month. Uh, it's playing, as a matter of fact, I gotta hurry up because it's playing at 11.30 tonight. And it also plays it on Channel 18, and it also plays uh, on Tuesdays at 9.30. So if you guys want to just stick around, yes. Um, you took the idea from, like, Knight Rider? Well, no, actually, um, uh, Danny Wilson and Paul DeMeo, they, they wanted to come up with a car show, and their idea was to come up with something where the car was a tool of the actors as opposed to an actor themselves. And so they use all the little gadgets as tools on the car. Okay, in just a few minutes, we'll have the actors come out. We'll do a small presentation here. Thanks so much for coming. I just want to thank all the people who came out and watched the show, because if it wasn't for you guys there'd be no show and if you guys don't show up there'll be no show next year <laughs> but more importantly uh, it's all about uh, mothers against drunk driving and helping them out to support their cause and keeping uh, alcohol off the roads that's uh, I actually care that about that a lot more than keeping my show on the air thank you Danny uh, from the Target Daytona store we have uh, Pat Henderson yeah. Pat. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Target, in association with Paramount Television, proudly welcomes Mr. Kate, Ms. Medway, and the rest of the entire Viper team. Thank you for being with us. Our mayor, Mr. Bud Asher, and his lovely wife. We're so proud to have each and every one of you today. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to have you. And uh, we're just really proud that you stopped and made Daytona Target one of your first places as you tour the country. Thank you. Here's Heather Medway. Glad you could come out and help support Mad Mothers Against Drunk Driving. And you know, they said it and said it again, but it's completely avoidable. It's a tragedy, and we all just need to be responsible. Thank you. you said just like us, like we do it. Thank you, Heather. Now he's Thomas Colon Viper. Here's Jeff Cake. Woo! Yeah. You know, this is a, a tragedy that has never touched my life. Uh, I was just talking to Nancy backstage here. She told me her story. It's a tough one. It's a real tough one. Anyway, so we're going to uh, present this check here to Nancy. She's signing the check for all those who are going to watch this tape. It's uh, DD. <laughs> <laughs> a, a check for uh, for five thousand dollars. It uh, it may not seem like a lot, but uh, every 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 dime counts in, in something like this. But uh, it's okay, Heather. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> She spelled mad wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's still Wesley. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys all for coming out. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. And uh, again, if you're going to drink, think about it. <laughs>